New Mexican Cuisine, Wikipedia Article Audio New Mexican Cuisine is the regional cuisine of the U.S. state of New Mexico. Part of the broader southwestern cuisine, New Mexico food culture is a fusion of Pueblo Native American, Spanish, Mexican, Cowboy Chuck Wagon, American Diner, French and Mediterranean influences. New Mexican cuisine developed in uniquely isolated circumstances and is therefore not like any other Mexican food in the United States. 109. Chili and other ingredients. History. Popular foods and dishes. Restaurants. New Mexico chili is the defining ingredient of New Mexican food. Chile is New Mexico's largest agricultural crop. Within New Mexico, green chili is also popular in non-New Mexican cuisines including Mexican-style food and American food like cheeseburgers, French fries, bagels, and pizza. The New Mexico official state question is red or green. This refers to the choice of red or green chili with an entree. Christmas a relatively new tradition, is a request for both New Mexico red and green chili have such a rich and distinctive flavor that traditional preparations require few additional flavoring ingredients. The essence of New Mexico chili preparation is its simplicity. The New Mexico green chili is a variety of the chili pepper, capsicum anuum, and was developed as a recognizable strain in New Mexico by the late 19th century. It is available today in several distinct and selectively cultivated strains called cultivars. The chili pepper is grown in the state's very high altitude and dry, hot climate. Much like grapes for wine, these growing conditions contribute, along with genetics, to giving New Mexico green chili its distinctive deep green color, texture, and flavor. The climate of New Mexico tends to increase the capsaicin levels in the chili pod compared to pods grown in other other regions. This results in the possibility of hotter varieties. New Mexico green chilies can range from mild to extremely hot. At harvest time green chili is typically roasted, peeled, and frozen for the year ahead. Chili is such a staple in New Mexico that many national restaurant chains offer New Mexico chili at their New Mexico locations. New Mexico red chili is simply the fully ripened green chili pepper. As it ripens, it first turns orange and then quickly turns red. As it does so, the skin thickens and fuses to the inner fruit or meat of the pepper. This means that, for the red pepper to be enjoyable, it must first be dried then blended into a puree. The puree can be made using full red chili pods or red chili powder. The puree is not edible until cooked as red chili sauce. This is made by cooking the puree with garlic, salt, and occasionally oregano and has the consistency of tomato soup. Discerning native New Mexicans prefer sun-dried over oven-dried red chili, as the oven-drying process gives it a non-traditional smoky flavor and a dark maroon color. Red chili peppers are traditionally sun-dried in bundles called ristras, which are a common decorative site on porches and in homes and businesses throughout the Southwest. The process of creating the ristra is highly labor-intensive, so the ristra in recent decades has become a predominantly decorative item. The bulk of New Mexico chili is grown in the Hatch Valley in the south of the state, in and around the village of Hatch. It is also grown along the entire Rio Grande Valley, and Chimayo in the north is also well known for its chili, 15 to 46. Wheat flour tortillas are more prevalent in New Mexico cuisine as a table bread than corn tortillas, 131 to 133. However, corn tortillas, corn tortilla chips, 
and masa are the foundations of many traditional New Mexico dishes, and sometimes made of blue corn. Common traditional dishes include enchiladas, tacos, pasol, tamales, and sopapalas as a dessert. Before the arrival of Europeans, New Mexico's current borders overlapped the areas of the Navajo, Mescalero, and Chiricahua tribes. The Spaniards brought their cuisine which mingled with the indigenous. They introduced, wheat, rice, beef, mutton slash lamb, among other foods and flavors, to the native corn, chili, beans, squash, and other native delights. 110 to 116 at the end of the Mexican-American War, New Mexico became part of the United States, and was strongly influenced by incoming American tastes. This distinct history combined with the local terrain and climate has resulted in significant differences between the cuisine of New Mexico and somewhat similar styles in California, Arizona, and Texas. Many residents in the north and the capital, Santa Fe, are descended from Spanish noblemen and explorers who came in the 16th century. Mexicans arrived later. Anglos and African Americans traded and settled after the Civil War. New Mexico's population includes Native Americans who have been on the land thousands of years. Most recently, Asian and Indochinese immigrants have discovered New Mexico. When New Mexicans refer to chili they are talking about pungent pods, or sauce made from those pods, not the concoction of spices, meat, or beans known as Texas chili con carne. While chili, the pod, is sometimes spelled chili, chili, or chili elsewhere, U.S. Senator Pete Domenici of New Mexico made this state's spelling official in a sense, by entering it into the congressional record, 61. One of the first authors to publish a cookbook describing traditional New Mexican cuisine was educator and writer Fabiola Cabeza de Baca Gilbert, who published Historic Cookery in 1931. Her work helped introduce cooking with chilies to the United States more broadly. The following foods and dishes are common in New Mexican cuisine. There have been several restaurants and restaurant chains serving New Mexican cuisine. Alban de Gas, meatball soup, traditionally made with beef broth, ground pork, or beef, vegetables and rice. Also known as sopa de alban de gas. Alban de gas is the term for the dish as well as the meatball itself. 184-186, arroz dulce, sweet rice pudding, a traditional northern New Mexican desert, primarily popular in traditional homes, and rarely found in restaurants. Rice is generally cooked in milk and water. Then, simmered with sugar and raisins, garnished with cinnamon, and served hot, a toll, a thick, hot gruel made from blue corn meal in New Mexico, bizcochito, anise-flavored cookie sprinkled with cinnamon sugar, traditionally made with lard. It was developed by residents of New Mexico over the centuries from the first Spanish colonists of what was then known as Santa Fe de Nuevo, Mexico. Although bizcochitos may sometimes be found at any time of year, they are a traditional Christmas cookie, 111-112, burrito, the New Mexico burrito is a white flour tortilla with fillings of meat, such as pork carnitas, chicken, ground, or shredded beef or carne dovada or refried pinto beans or both meat and beans, along with red or green chili, breakfast burrito. A breakfast version of the above, typically including scrambled eggs, potatoes, red or green chili, cheese, and sometimes bacon. Calabacitas, chopped green summer squash with onions, garlic, yellow corn, green chili, sautéed in oil, caldillo, a thin, 
green chili stew or soup of meat, potatoes, and green chilies. Sometimes called caldito, especially as a side dish. Both terms are diminutive forms of the Spanish word, caldo, for soup, capirotada, a bread pudding dessert, traditionally made during Lent festivities. Capirotada is made of toasted bread crumbs or fried slices of birote or balillo bread, then soaked in a syrup made of melted sugar, or pilincillo, and cinnamon. It usually contains raisins and possibly other fruits and nut bits. Finely grated cheese may be added when it's still hot from the oven, so that it melts. Served warm or cold, 354-355, Carna Dovata, cubes of pork that have been marinated and slow cooked in red chili sauce, garlic and oregano. Dot, carne asada, roasted or broiled meat, marinated, carnitas. Grilled grilled or broiled cubes of pork traditionally smothered with red or green chili sauce and served as an entree, chalupa, a corn tortilla, fried into a bowl shape and filled with shredded chicken or other meat or beans, and usually topped with guacamole and salsa, 125-126, chic herons. Pork rinds Deep-fried pieces of pig skin usually including a layer of meat, chili or chili sauce, a sauce made from red or green chilies usually served hot. Green chili is made with chopped, roasted fresh or frozen green chilies, while red chili is made from dried, roasted and pulverized ripe chilies. Chili is one of the most definitive differences between New Mexican and other Mexican and Mexican-American cuisines. New Mexican cuisine uses chili sauce as taco sauce, enchilada sauce, burrito sauce, etc. A thicker version of green chili with onions and other additions is called green chili stew and is popular in Albuquerque-style New Mexican food. The green chili sauces can sometimes be hotter than its red counterpart, though this depends entirely on the chili varieties used, chilies, peppers of the New Mexico cultivars of the Capsicumanuum species. They are visually and genetically similar to Anaheim peppers, but usually hotter with a different taste and texture. The large Flavorful New Mexican variety gives the region's cuisine much of its distinctive style, and used so extensively that it is known simply as chili. Green chilies are those that are picked unripe, roasted, and peeled for use. Red chilies are the ripe form of the same plant. Generally more piquant than green chilies, they too can be roasted, but are usually dried, they can be added whole to spice an entire stew, or more often are ground into powder or sometimes flakes. Chilies may be referred to as chili peppers, especially if the sentence requires them to be distinguished from the chili sauce made from them, chili con queso, chili and melted cheese mixed together into a dip, chilies rulinas, whole green chilies stuffed with cheese, dipped in egg batter, and fried. This dish varies from other Mexican-style cuisines in that it uses the new Mexican chili, rather than a poblano pepper, chimichanga, a small, deep-fried meat and bean wheat tortilla burrito, also containing chili sauce and cheese, popularized by the Alsip's convenience store chain with a series of humorous commercials in the 1980s with candid footage of people attempting and failing to pronounce the name correctly. Chimichangas, like flautas and taquitos, are a fast food adaptation of traditional dishes in a form that can be stored frozen and then quickly fried as needed, they are also rigid and easily handheld, and thus easy to eat by people while walking or driving, chorizo, spicy pork sausage, seasoned with garlic and red chili usually used in ground or finely chopped form as a breakfast side dish or quite often as an alternative to ground beef or shredded chicken in other dishes, cilantro, 
a pungent green herb used fresh in salsas, and as a topping for virtually any dish, not common in traditional New Mexican cuisine, but one of the defining tastes of Santa Fe style, cumin, the quintessential Mexican food spice, cumin is used very differently in New Mexican food, usually reserved for spicing ground beef and sometimes other meats for burritos, tacos, and nachos. It is not used to flavor red and green chili sauces, corn, a staple grain, the yellow sweet corn variety is most common in New Mexico, though white is sometimes used, and blue and red flint corn varieties are used for specialties like atoll and blue corn tortilla chips. Kernel corn and corn on the cob are frequent side dishes, as in the rest of the American South. Corn is not a frequent component of New Mexico salsa or pico de gallo, empanada, a little empanada, a pasty, or turnover filled with sweet pumpkin, fruit, or minced meat, spices, and nuts, enchiladas, corn tortillas filled with chicken, meat, or cheese. They are either rolled or stacked and covered with chili sauce and cheese. The stacked version is called a flat enchilada, and is normally referred to in New Mexico as a Santa Fe style enchilada. It is usually covered with either red or green chili sauce, and optionally topped with a fried egg. Flat enchiladas made with blue corn tortillas are a particularly New Mexican variation, 216 to 220, 109, fish. Being landlocked, New Mexico has no native seafood tradition, but freshwater fish are not uncommon entrees, especially trout. Crayfish are found in New Mexico. In the southeast of the state, crayfish tails are also consumed, as in Texas and Louisiana. While the native population made use of freshwater shellfish since prehistoric times, they are not common in modern New Mexico cuisine, though it has adapted various seafood items, flan, a caramel custard, flauta, a small, tightly rolled, fried corn tortilla filled with ground beef, chicken, pork, or turkey and served topped with guacamole and sour cream. Compare chimichanga and taquito, frijoles, whole pinto beans. Along with Spanish rice, frijoles are the standard side served with any entree. Traditional New Mexico beans are cooked very simply with salt pork and garlic. Frijoles are often served whole in New Mexico, rather than as ref.